All right, Capricorn, it's now time for your April reading. April, can you believe it's April already, dude? Oh my God, time fly. Every year goes by faster, dude. Anyway, um, as always, information for tips, donations, my Facebook page and my Instagram are all in the description. All right, so let's hop into it. Just got a brand new deck yesterday. And let's see if I can get a card to yell at me for Capricorn. There we go, King of Cups reversed. Capricorn, universe, what do we got for Capricorn, April 2019, four shuffles. There's one, here's two. Here's three. And four. Capricorn, Capricorn, what's good with y'all? Alrighty. Ooh, so sweet. So sweet. Okay, so April may not be the fastest month for you. And it's not supposed to be, I don't think, okay? Because it could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with, but I kind of feel like, especially after the end of that old cycle, that old nasty Mercury retrograde we just had to go through in order to get here, right now, for you being such a like solid Earth sign, April is all about getting your equilibrium back, basically, after that, that kick in the head that universe gave us all back, you know, last month and through that Mercury retrograde in Pisces on top of that, you know, uh, right now the energy influencing you is the temperance throughout the month of April. So it's all about regaining your balance, regaining your patience and basically being able to calibrate exactly, you know what I'm saying? Where you're going next with precision. Okay. Uh, people may be noticing this about you too. Definitely. Uh, some people may be kind of thinking that you're a little bit indecisive, but I don't really think on the inside you feel like that. On the inside, it's all about getting over this stress and all the anxiety and all the nastiness that most of us kind of think is uh, supposed to start over at the beginning of the year, right? You know, January 1st, it's like, ooh, New Year. Not quite. That's still your season. That's still Capricorn. We still have a few a few different stages to go through before the next cycle begins, okay? And now it's beginning, and I definitely see those stresses are getting up off your back as you regain your, your balance, okay? I still see you kind of emotionally closed off, though, to somebody, okay? Definitely closed off to somebody, okay? But it, it looks to me like um, mm, there's, there's some kind of in and out stuff still going on here, though. Kind of in and out. Maybe you being kind of in and out and back and forth. But I definitely see there, there's somebody that you have on your mind, okay? There's somebody you have on your mind that you want to offer your love to right here. But I kind of think you're not really saying anything about it. I kind of see you actually performing the actions and doing the thing to get them to notice you. But you're not like verbalizing it. Does that make sense? Is what I see right here, okay? Um think you may need to go inside just a little bit more. There's there's a different way to approach this. I kind of feel like your intuition is telling you how to approach this situation, but you're not. Like I said, I do see love coming in. Could be coming towards you or you could be uh, the one who's, who's really wanting this thing, this person or whatever it is. But with the Knight of Swords in the reverse, with the, with the Knight of Cups in the upright, I'm kind of feeling like the actions are being taken and it's more like a... a I hope they notice me type of energy right here. And the person that you're dealing with, it kind of confuses them, I think. Kind of confuses them just a little bit. Because I think they're ready for it too, but th that's not on their part quite enough evidence to, to go through with it. So, because uh, they got the page, it could be a fire sign that you're dealing with. They have the page of wands in the up right here. But with the seven of cups and the ten of wands, I see that it's kind of more, more of a burden to them than anything. Because it's confusing. They really... They're not 100% sure. It's like, so are, are they into me? Are they are they doing that to get my attention? Or is it just, you know, and it's, it's got them all over the place, dude. You know, it's got them all over the place. They're like, dude, I don't know what to think. You know, look, all that cu all them cups right there. That dude's like, what? I, I, I don't know. They're confused. And it kind of puts a bit of a burden on their back here, okay? There you are in the reverse, feeling a little bit out of your element, okay? 
But like I said, you have the Ten of Swords reversed and the Nine of Swords reversed too. So I feel like for the most part, even though you do have this thing, this person, this situation on your mind right here, the reason you, I kind of feel like the reason that you're not being so upfront and forward and blunt about it like you may have been in the past is because you're making 100% sure that you're not about to step into a big pile of shit. <laughs> if that makes any sense, you know, you're kind of like playing it and testing it and seeing what needs to be done and, and, and kind of testing the, the person or the situation out just a little bit, just so you can gather more information. If that makes any sense. It's kind of what I see you doing right here. Okay. So the person that you're, again, they don't really, I don't really feel like this person, it could be a Libra that you're dealing with, but I don't really think they understand the full scope of the picture. It's more confusing than anything. Okay. Um, they do have some heartache that they're getting over in the past, from the past, okay? Could have been you. This could be a past person that you're dealing with right here, okay? But I definitely see that, that they, throughout the month of April, they're, they're going to kind of like let their guard down and get a little bit like, you know, like, okay, I think I might be trusting this right here, but it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. If any of that makes sense, okay? Um, hmm. The new person, huh? That may be what I title this video. The new person. <laughs> I definitely see somebody new here. I don't really see, this reading right here isn't really talking about anything from the past. It's not telling me anything, okay? So let's look. Ooh, the Hierophant in the reverse. Let's look more at the person that you're dealing with here. Two. three and four the person having the biggest influence on Capricorn throughout the month of April universe this may be somebody you already know maybe somebody you already know but here's the thing I don't really feel like they're digging the way you're approaching this. I just feel like you are being so extra super cautious and this person doesn't know how to read that. They do not know how to read it, okay? There is definitely a part of them telling them, hey, this could be the start of something new, okay? And like I said, it could be. Actually, no, you know what I'm really seeing out of this right here? I'm seeing that this person right here is also in the middle of their own thing, like I already said. They are also in the middle of something that uh, that messed them up in the past. So I kind of feel like for the most part, you all are both coming together, trying to sort out your past baggage so that you don't bring it on to each other. But for the most part, this individual, I feel, is kind of confused. They don't really understand. Okay, I do see it's probably going to work out eventually, but... This, throughout the month of April, I see this individual being so confused right here. It's not going to start up right away, I don't think. Okay, because down here at the bottom, not only, okay, so the energy influence them is the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So this isn't something they're going to work on right away. And I kind of think you may be doing that on purpose, if that makes any sense right there. But like I said, there is a part of them that, that's telling them, okay, this could definitely be a new start, the beginning of a new cycle right here. And... I still see them kind of comparing. You're comparing to your past experience and they're comparing to theirs. And they don't really have, you know, any passion to dump into their past experience right here. But down here at the bottom, it's very in and out. Because like I said, I think they're confused. Ace of Cups reversed, Page of Pentacles in the upright, Page of Cups reversed. It's going to be very, it's not going to take off right away. I do see the chariot right here though, eventually. This is, a, this is a big possibility. This does have a uh, major potential right here, major. But I just don't really think they're feeling your approach. I don't know, man. We'll, we'll see when the advice rolls around. We will see when it rolls around, okay? So where is this situation going to most likely end up for Capricorn Universe? Where is it going to most likely end up? Knight of Pentacles reversed. Let's get four shuffles. Here's one. 
There's two. There's three. And four. Man, overall, like I said, overall, eventually, and I don't really feel this coming throughout the month of April. The Wheel of Fortune is in the upright, though, okay? But throughout the month of April, this person is so confused. There's so much confusion between the two of you. It could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with. And like I, like I said, they're kind of feeling like this, but usually this right here has a... Has a a connotation behind it of it being kind of intentional or self-inflicted and it may be okay the, the the individual that you're dealing with I kind of feel like they they just they're confused they don't understand they don't really understand what to think of this okay so I do see definitely this is something that's gonna weigh on their mind very very heavily but for the most part, they don't trust their intuition. I feel like, like I said, a part of them, their intuition is telling them this has massive potential. But I kind of feel like they're not really listening to their intuition because they don't see anything to, to, to prove their intuition correct. So they're probably, for the month of April, just going to like say, no, nah. no, nah. the devil reverse. No Capricorn, <laughs> no Capricorn, no new start throughout the month of April. Okay. Uh, I kind of feel like they're going to end up feeling pretty heavily guarded because there's just something they don't really quite understand, like I said, throughout the month of April. All right, well, what advice do we have for Capricorn Universe? What advice? Advice. What advice do we have? Ace of Cups. All right, the Tower, the Hangman, and the Ace of Cups. So I kind of feel like this is definitely going to bring a huge change if you do it. And that may be why, that may be why you're kind of hanging around and waiting possibly, but Ace of Cups in the upright. Let's get four shuffles. There's one. There's two. There's three. Four. All right, so I kind of feel like there are parts of this that you are doing correctly and there are some parts that you're doing a little bit incorrectly, okay? I do see waiting. Waiting is definitely good. Waiting is definitely something you should be doing, all right? With the Three of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles right there because this door is not quite open just yet. And if you do try to run through it, um, yeah, it won't really work out all that well. Not yet, okay? But I kind of feel like somewhere probably throughout the middle of the month, you need to make a decision. And the decision is if you're going to do it, do it. If you're going to do it, do it. Okay, so I kind of feel like you're, you're close to the right track, but need to change just a few things in there a little bit, okay? So we will see how it rolls along throughout the month of the daily readings and the weekly readings and whatnot. So I hope that reading resonated and helped everybody out. Greatly appreciate everybody that tuned in, all right? I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Y'all have a good one.